everyone! Today I am going to be doing my Ipsy vs. Birch box. This is where I go through what I got in these two subscription boxes every month. Sorry the lighting is kind of weird. Um, it is like rainy and gross and really gray outside. It has been all day, so it's kind of just not very conducive for filming. But it's about to be uh, Christmas, so I wanted to film the day I could. Also this lipstick, I'm really not feeling it. I just got it from an influencer. Um, I just don't think this color is the most flattering for me. But I'm going to try it out because that's what you're supposed to do with Influencer. That video will be coming up soon. But in case you do not know, I'm going to grab them. Ipsy and Birchbox are both $10 a month. They're a monthly subscription. Um, and you kind of just, you, some kind of, with the Birchbox, you get to choose one. With Ipsy, you don't get to choose any. And you just see what you get. So let's go with Birchbox first. So Birchbox is a really great for wrapping presents. I know it's Christmas time. Um, and this one's super cute. It looks like it's kind of already wrapped and it's got some metallic circles on it. It's very cute. This one could almost be like gender neutral. A lot of them are pretty uh, feminine. I don't really care. I just give people the same boxes, but I'm just saying. Um, and this month I got five items. And then I also got um, something else, which I'll just go ahead. Um, so the theme of the month was Shine On. And I did get a mirror. Hold on. Just a little compact mirror, um, which I probably won't use to be honest, but I don't know if I got that because like everyone got it because I'm a, I'm a Birchbox Ace, which just means that like I got, I have had it for a long time pretty much. Um, but it's also my birthday month. My birthday is the 30th, so I don't really know why I got the mirror, but I got the mirror. Um, so then the other five products or just normal products. It doesn't say anything on the card about the mirror. So the first thing I got is by Davines, which is an Oi All-in-One Milk. So what this really is, is kind of like, um, it's kind of like the, it's a tin or whatever. You just put it in your hair and it does a lot of good things. It works really well, but I really don't like the Davines scent. It's just kind of patchouli-y and really strong, and I don't like it. It's not my thing. Um, if you like it, then this is a really nice product. But because of the scent, it's not my favorite, but it does perform well. Then I got the Marcel Hydra C Energizing Hydrating Gel. Um, so if you, it's apply in the morning, uh, and you just put it on your face. I, I don't know. It was nice when you said gel. It, it, I thought it might be like kind of orangey, and it doesn't have a citrusy scent, which I'm kind of disappointed about. And I, I wouldn't say it's hydrate, I mean, uh, energizing at all, but it felt nice on my skin, so there's nothing wrong with it. I'll definitely use it, but energizing, I don't know if I buy that. Next, I got the LOC, which is Tati's brand, Love of Color, um, one and done eyeshadow stick, stick in this shade, Out of Your Shell. I do have this on today. This is um, kind of a really light, peachy nude shade. It's lighter than my skin tone for sure. It doesn't blend the best. I find, like, on the actual eyelid, I mean, right here, it just, it just blends away. Um, but on the eyelid, I find it kind of hard to blend. Also, I did find that my eyeshadow crease when I use this. I haven't found that with the other, I have two other ones. Um, do I just have two? Yeah. I have the On Point and the Smoke Screen. So I do have two other LOC ones and they're kind of more shimmery. I didn't find them creasing with that, but this one I did, but I did choose this product um, and I really like cream eyeshadows, so that's cool. This was a really exciting product to get. A lot of people were like going crazy over these eyeliners a couple of months, uh, I don't know, not a couple of years, probably like a year ago. And it's the Monster Eyeliners by Art and CN. Um, I just got, it's called the Smooth Ride Super Size Charge. Sorry, Smooth Ride Super Charged Eyeliner. Um, it's just in the shade black, so. It is decently pigmented. It's not the most pigmented black eyeliner I have. It's almost a little bit gray. Um, and I didn't find that it stayed in my waterline that well. So I was, I was excited to try it because, like I said, I remember so many people talking about it. But upon use, I was kind of disappointed. And last but not least, I got a perfume sample sample by the brand Atelier Cologne. Atelier Cologne. Um, this brand is sold at Sephora, and I got the scent uh, Vanille Intense. They have the orange one that's really popular, and it does you get a little postcard with it, which is kind of a cute little thing that they do. Um, I don't love this scent. I don't get a lot of vanilla. It just kind of smells spicy but not in the I don't I don't really like it honestly um, and it doesn't stay on my skin very well which is the same problem I have with the orange one 
Um, so I would not be pro I, I don't know. I, I was kind of excited to try it because it is one of the point parks right now at Sephora. Um, but it just wasn't that great. So all in all, I didn't get bad products in my birch box, not by any means. And all of them individually, it's like, oh, that's something I'd be interested in trying. However, I don't really love any of the products, which is kind of disappointing, but also kind of why you get Birchbox. Because these products are definitely worth more than $5, I mean, more than $10. These two you can definitely buy at Sephora, and the other two you can just buy on the Birchbox website. But, you know, it does save you money, because now it's like, if I ever see that vanilla uh, perfume in, like, a gift or something, I'll know I don't like that. Or if I see it as a point perk, because I, if you've been watching my, like, hauls and stuff, um, which I'll link that place down below, I don't know, if you want to see some hauls, um, then you know that I use up my points. So, it's like, really, like, I wouldn't use it for that. So, I don't know. I'm not trying to be negative. I hate negative people, but she wasn't the biggest fan. So, next we have my Ipsy bag. It is this, like, kind of pinky red, and it is actually furry. Um, it's kind of got, like, semi-shiny little furs in them. I don't know. I guess people were thinking you could use it as a clutch. It's fun. It's it's really fun and like cute and like kind of New Year's-y, which I guess is their theme. Um, I don't know. It's kind of strange because it, it, it seems kind of juvenile, but I think it's fun, which is, you know, I'm all for fun. Um, I do want to point out, first and foremost, I got an eyeshadow that I actually put, turned in points for. So if you didn't turn in your points, then you wouldn't get this eyeshadow. This was not something that I got in my bag. Um, and it's by the brand Marsk. And it's a mineral eyeshadow in the shade Vanilla Frosting. It is what's all over my lid today. Is that right? Yeah, and it's a really pretty, like, super shimmery. And, of course, I it's right there. It's like a white. Here, look. It's like a white. I don't know. It's everywhere. It's pretty. I like it a lot. It's really shiny, and it's kind of different. I don't know. I think it's pretty. So I'm glad I turned that in for, like, 250 points. And I do have another, two other Marsk eyeshadows. So this is my third one. Um, and I like them. I like pigments. They're kind of messy, but I still like them. So that's just my opinion. But again, if you wouldn't have tried, the, if you wouldn't have turned in your points, you wouldn't have got that. So the other eyeshadow I got this month that's kind of, it's right here on my outer corner, um, was this by NYX. It's the NYX Prismatic Shadows in the shade Jaded. Um, when these came out, everyone was going crazy for them, and I haven't gotten to try them. Look at how similar this is to my, um, sweater. It's a really pretty, kind of bluey green, mainly green, but there's a little bit of blue in it. It is really shimmery, and it's gorgeous. It's super pigmented. It applied really well. It blended really nicely. I like this eyeshadow a lot. I would definitely, definitely like to get some more shades of this. Next, I got the Nip and Fab Exfoliate Glycolic Acid. Glycolic Fix Serum. So it's like a glycolic acid and it's supposed to um, smooth fine lines and wrinkles. Um, I don't have fine lines and wrinkles really. Maybe a little bit like under my eyes. Um, but I do have dry skin so I think this will be interesting. I haven't gotten to try it yet. Um, but this is also a really nice size so that's good. Oh sorry I always forget but the LFC this is actually a full size. <laughs> All everything else in the birch box was sample size, but the LOC was a full size. And then I got the eyeliner I have on today, and it's by Hikari. And it's the liquid liner, and it's in the shade Iris. I don't know how they think this... It's kind of a purpley brown. Or a brownie purple. Like, in some lights it looks a lot more purple, and in some lights it looks a lot more brown. I do have it on my eyelid today. I found it really easy to use. I like these pin style, um... This is a felt tip pen style eyeliner. I think they're easy to use and I liked it. It looks a lot, it looks really purple here, but sometimes it looks brown. So it's kind of a unique shade. Um, and I definitely didn't have any of those kind of color liquid eyeliners, so I liked it. <coughs> this I haven't used yet. It's the Smashbox Insta Matte Lipstick Transformer. So supposedly you can put it over your lipstick and it makes it matte. So let's try that. I have like a gloss. I don't know if it'll work on my hand, but let's just see. So this is one of those like super sheer, glossy, Maybelline color whispers. They don't make them anymore, but I like it. And let's just see if how good this works. All right.
that mattifies it. It's kind of making it, it's on this side, but not on that side. It does mattify. It is kind of taking away some of the color, but that might just be the way it's applying. So it seems like it works. I don't know. Like I said, I haven't tried it yet. I'm wearing a matte lipstick, obviously. Again, I'm really, I don't know. Let me know what y'all think about this color. Maybe y'all are like, girl, you're rocking it. Because I'm kind of like, ah. not so much about it. Sorry, Hippo is judging me for that noise. But this is cool. I don't know. And, you know, matte lips are really in. So that's a neat product. And it's new. And Smashbox is obviously like a higher end brand. So that's cool to try. And last but not least is by Micah Beauty. And it is the um, kind of an angled shadow brush. I don't know the number of it. It's really soft. I have another angled shadow brush that I actually also got from Ipsy by Nikki K. And this one is a lot fuller, but I use it all the time to kind of put an eyeshadow um, in my outer corners and stuff. So I'm really glad to have another one. And it's really soft, like I said, and it's full. And it's, it's a good brush. So that is my Ipsy and Birch box for the month. Or for the, yeah, for December. Um, I definitely like my Ipsy better. Like I said, I'm not trying to be negative, and I hate, um, that's not my intention, ever. Um, it's just that Birchbox, none of the products I really liked. But I was glad to try them still, which is the point. Ipsy, I liked all the products. Except for, I don't know about the serum, because I haven't tried it yet. But I'm intrigued by it. So, there you go. Those are my Ipsy and Birchbox. Let me know about your Ipsy and Birchbox. If this lighting is driving you crazy, I really apologize. But uh, I cannot control the sun. Um, and plus, like, I don't know. We kind of need rain, we kind of don't because of Hurricane Matthew. Uh, it's kind of a weird situation. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you have any questions, requests, suggestions, comments. If you want to know how much each box of this worth, um, it will be listed down below. As well as what's, what's on my face. Any kind of thing that I can kind of just throw at you, it will be listed down below. But obviously ask questions if you would like. Um, and I will see you all real soon. Bye.